Hey everybody, Silver here with another Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Close Quarters Combat and Truth and Reconciliation. Close Quarters Combat is complete Truth and Reconciliation with at least four rounds left in your sniper rifle. And Truth and Reconciliation is just beat Truth and Reconciliation on any difficulty. So I loaded up on normal here. Um, and you can see I'm just picking off a few people uh, before I head in there. We don't care about that other achievement all according to plan. Uh, we already got that, presumably. If you haven't gotten that, I have a guide for that uh, where you got to kill all these people in this first area without being detected. So head on over to my channel and check that out uh, if you need help with that. But uh, this part, uh, we don't care about being detected. At least for these two achievements we're getting. So basically, we're going to do it in a very cheap way, which is just uh, put the bandana skull on. The bandana skull on. Um, that gives you infinite ammo, so basically all you have to do is finish the level and keep the sniper rifle with you uh, the entire time because it's not going to go below its allotted 68 uh, rounds to start. So Pretty much got that part taken care of as long as you uh, finish the level. Now, about finishing that level, uh, it should be pretty straightforward on normal. I'll stick with you the whole time, though. Don't worry. And uh, if all you needed was that bandana tip, then I'll, by all means, uh, I guess you could leave now if you want. But you could stick around. We're having uh, some pizza delivered. I got some salsa and chips out on the table here for you to enjoy. Don't drink the punch, though. Uh, I think somebody was messing with that. Scumbag Steve got to it, and I think he's trying to, you know, have his way with some ladies. But, uh, anyway. You don't have to kill all the people in this area. Uh, I think I did. I, or no, I didn't. I left a couple people behind. But with Bandana, you also have unlimited grenades, too, so that's something to consider. Just chuck those when you need to. Normally, uh, I don't have these Marines with me while playing on Legendary because they just die because they're dumb. So I'm able to snipe that Elite just as he nonchalantly walks up to that cliffside. But the uh, turret, or the Marines, rather, got the attention of the turret, uh, which blew our cover because the Marines are stupid pieces of shit. Um, what I do here is I wrap around to the left and I largely ignore the people in the center of this area. So I just take out this elite. Uh, take out the couple shades. One's right there. The other one's behind me in the corner. He's kind of off on his own. And then I grab the active camel right there and I just head to the next section and I just skip everybody else here. There'll be uh, reinforcements coming for the Covenant and uh, yourself. Make sure to jump over these couple elites. Um, but I just totally ignore that uh, encounter. So here, uh, you want to assassinate as many people as possible while you're invisible. And you don't want to shoot, because that'll uh, give away your position. But you can throw grenades, and that doesn't give away your position somehow. It will wake up the sleeping grunts, though. So you can see those two running in front of me who are just woken up. Woohoo, that shade almost flew and splattered me. Which is an easy thing to get splattered in Halo 1. Alright. So there's going to be a bunch of reinforcements. Uh, the first one is that dropship, but then there's a bunch that come down this lift. There's a gravity lift in the middle of the map. There's like half a dozen waves. I'm not sure exactly how many there are. I just keep shooting them until they're done. I'll count them this time, actually. It's good to know. Three. We are on normal, though, so I don't know if it's, uh, if there's more on legendary or not. Probably is. So I'll just chuck a grenade in there to... Uh, that was a late grenade, so it didn't really do much. 
But I'll chuck a grenade in there to kill the smaller enemies, or a handful of them at least, and then uh, try to snipe the elite. There's only that one elite that comes down per wave. Those two elites that I'm shooting right now uh, usually don't make their way back to this area. They usually run to the next area. You saw us jump over them as we came into this section. It's odd that they're back, though. And it's odd that they just stand over there. So these hunters, if you know the pistol trick to shoot them just once in the back, it also works with a sniper rifle. Uh, I don't perform it here because they're pretty weak uh, on normal, so I just unload it on them without any real skill. And uh, they're done. So now we're heading up into the belly of the beast, as they say. All right. So this section, they're going to come at you from four different doors in the corner of each room. You can see one right there. That's that's a crate I zoomed in on. There's a door there. And basically, you just want to stay in the middle uh, as much as you can and watch your radar. And you can tell which door they're going to come through with uh, using your radar. And you could either snipe an elite if it's an elite, or you could just throw a grenade into the mob of grunts and jackals and that'll take them out so just keep an eye on your uh, radar throughout this whole room and that way you can pretty much keep them contained to just the doors they're coming out of And also, uh, keep in mind, you could backpack reload, which is a glitch. It's a button glitch. Uh, instead of reloading and being vulnerable uh, while you're reloading, just hit XXY. And what that does is hitting X the first time starts reloading the weapon in your hand. Hitting X again, for some reason, makes you continue to reload even after you hit Y and switch to your secondary weapon. So hitting XXY uh, will ultimately make you switch to your... Uh, alternate weapon and it'll reload the gun uh, that you put away even while it's away and in your backpack quote unquote uh, so it's called backpack reloading uh, normally these guys are hunters on heroic or legendary but on normal I discovered that they are jackals which is very silly uh, you sh I advise picking up the health and then camo first the health first and then the camo it gives you an extra second or two with the camo where you need it. So I just grabbed that camo and health. You don't have to kill that guy. It's uh, totally unnecessary. I was feeling sassy though. Um, and you just drop down here and you could open this door for your marine buddies if you have any left. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for... Uh, actually, we're going to assassinate as many people as we can down here. And stupid ass... Marine of mine almost killed me with his stupid frag grenade. Thanks, but there's health right there, and, uh, well, you don't need ammo. There's more ammo there if you're not using the bandana skull. Uh, so what we're doing down here is we're going to avoid most of these people by these, uh, doors on the right that I, one I just went through are locked most of the time. But as reinforcements come in, the enemies open the door. So you could go through the door, uh, while they're coming in. And that way you could just leave that whole area. And you saw me drop down to the that area uh, initially, which avoids having to go through the hallways leading down there, which avoids another whole allotment of enemies. So now we're in the hangar bay. For the first time out of many. And basically you just gotta fight everybody here. There's a way to grenade jump up to the top. But it's kind of, uh, it takes some practice, so I don't want to make you guys do anything ridiculous and complicated. Just a straightforward way to do it. The straightforward way is just kill everybody. You'll see me do that backpack reloading I was talking about a lot through this. You'll see me just put away a gun that has 
not been reloaded. And then when I pull it back out again, you'll notice that it is reloaded. It's very useful, uh, well, for all levels, but especially levels like the library or uh, 343 Guilty Spark where there's a ton of flood enemies coming at you all at once and you really need to uh, have a continuous stream of fire, basically, to tip the odds in your favor instead of just getting caught with two guns that are not reloaded. So over here is a door that you can't go through again uh, without the enemies coming through at first because it's locked. And the skull is actually in that room um, if you don't have the skull for this level. You got two chances at least that I could think of of that door opening with enemies. Uh, that was the first instance of the door opening and there's a second one where the hunters come through at the end. I think it might open again at another point, but... I'm not sure. Now that's what I'm talking about. So just keep picking people off and be aware that there's enemies above you. You can see me sniping at them. There's one up there. So it could, if you're not noticing that, that could be messing with you. If you see him on your radar and you're like, where the hell is this guy? He is upstairs. Or if you're getting shot and you don't know where it's coming from. I notice there's a... Uh, coming up, I'll notice there's a grunt above me. And I start chucking grenades at him. Uh, and I do it for like a solid two minutes. Which is just silly. And I still don't kill. end up killing him. So I just cut that out. You'll see me transition right here. There we go. I've given up officially. I don't understand how he's alive. I had to have thrown like 25 grenades up there. Or more. Probably more. You can throw a grenade a second. Alright, so... If you're if there's no more enemies coming at you, uh, you gotta go over here to hang out with your marine buddies and it'll cue the next uh, wave of enemies. And you can see him coming at me right now. And you can see some really shitty uh, no-scoping uh, attempts. This was not my best uh, playthrough of this level at all. The no-scoping leaves a lot to be desired. I had a really good run uh, right before this, but my file got corrupted, so I had to do it again. Silly. Silly bitches. Uh, so hunters are going to come out of that door eventually. I think I got to go back over there with my marines to uh, queue it up. Anytime now. Let's go, guys. I noticed while going through these levels that there were some odd... Uh, loading times or just things wouldn't happen as scripted it may be because I was just rolling through the waves way too quickly because I'm way too awesome for this or I just had to go over here to let those guys out either one uh, yeah if you notice that nothing's happening just you know move around the room whoa that was a good freaking shot very rare to kill a hunter with one shot from the front. Damn, man. I don't think I've ever done that before. So once the door opens there, I grab the overshield to help me out with this next section. Which is just a bunch of hallways, basically. And we're going to go up to where those douchebags were shooting at us from before. But before... We do that, we gotta go through these long twisting hallways to get up there. And watch out, there's a couple invisible elites here. Along with a handful of grunts and jackals. So it's easy to just you throw a nade into a section. Be aware people will be coming out of that door over there I'm looking at. 
and out of the opposite side, diagonally. They done killed all my marines almost, which is fine because they usually, uh, well, I won't say they don't help at all. They help a little bit. going to be surprise surprise more enemies in the hallway and now we're just going up to the third level of the hangar bay basically and to do it you guessed it we're going through some long twisting hallways again there we go starting to get my no scope back on track <laughs> but my melee is off now. Damn, man. And uh, so we're up at top now. And you want to throw a couple grenades over there because there's always enemies just standing right there waiting for you. So just take them out before they even know that you're there. And same over here. Just throw a couple grenades because there's jackals and grunts coming out of this door. So this section, you saw a little transition there. It's because I done got killed by uh, the gold elite up here. The fastest that I, I've ever gotten killed. He basically zeroed in on me right when I came in the room and flew and thumped me right in the face. Not this time. Unfortunately, you have to uh, kill everybody in here in order for you to progress the door on our right has to unlock the one with the waypoint on it now uh, it only does that when you kill everybody in here it'd be super easy to skip this whole section if uh, that door opened but alas it is locked most of the time or most of the time meaning at the start do some nosies so many no scopes, they call me Nosy O'Donnell. Or maybe it's because I'm a lesbian that they call me that. I don't know which one. But that's what they call me. Well, that might be it. I do like women, I like Rosie. So we got some more twisting hallways. And I, I like to try to line up these two jackals and kill them with one shot. I think I killed them both with that third shot. I would like to have killed them both with the first shot, which would have looked a lot more badass. But not today, Silver, not today. I'm always really shitty at shooting those invisible guys. It's like, where are they even? Nice flashlight, bro. So there's a cutscene here once you let out the uh, marine buddies of yours. And the captain. So I just skipped that. And you'll see, also see a transition here. Because uh, I just ran at those guys and died. Like an idiot. So there's a couple jackals. I thought my marines killed one, but there's one behind me. So I'm going to snipe him, and I'm going to do almost the best assassination ever. And I missed it, barely. Jumping over that elite as he was about to smack me. Oh my god, it would have been perfect. I had half a mind to just revert to ch last checkpoint and keep trying to do that. It would have been baller. So basically, uh, we just have to go back to the hangar bay, and we're done.
and we got to make sure the captain doesn't die. If Captain Keys dies, uh, you got to go back to your last checkpoint, which is a pain in the ass sometimes, because he could be stupid. Downright dumb. Invisible Elite. He's dead. Uh, there's two in here. On Legendary, there's three, but there's only two on Normal. I think Heroic might be two as well, but I'm not sure. So I go to the back of the room here, and I lead. So Captain Keys will come to wherever you are in this room. So I like to have him back here because when the grunts uh, come in after this conversation, uh, the grunts throw a lot of grenades and easily kill uh, Captain Keys. So I like to have him back here. Uh, unfortunately, there was like a minute or two that passed without him uh, doing the next line in this dialogue, which is weird. I don't know why that happened. So I moved up to the front of the room. You'll see in a second in order to uh, get it to go. Uh, but you see a little Easter egg. The old graphics, it says, Hello, my name, Keys. When you zoom in with a sniper. So you can see here that I moved up because they weren't starting their dialogue for whatever reason. I don't know why. That never happened to me before. Um, but just throw grenades at every door because there's going to be two or three elites, or not elites, two or three grunts that come in each door. And you want to make sure that they don't uh, get very many shots in on the captain. Because he's a, he's a pretty weak bitch. Actually, he's pretty badass, but uh, not, not when you're playing with him here. Outside of the uh, gameplay right here, he's pretty badass. So you got that elite and a handful of grunts to take care of. And then you're done, brother. You gotta activate that panel. It takes a few seconds sometimes. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Click like and subscribe if you would. I will be eternally grateful. And uh, keep checking back. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.